Hmm. I've kind of been waiting for a good day um, to make this. You know, this morning I woke up and I felt like, okay, I think today I can. Um, okay. It's taking me seven months to make this video um, an update, but if you're on Instagram, then you already know, but I have realized that my Instagram community and my YouTube are completely different, so I know this will shock a lot of you. I, I really didn't want to be this emotional. <laughs> I just wanted to be able to share what's going on give you an update but I it's different like saying it out loud and talking about it I haven't talked about it on Instagram I just shared a quick update back in January and that I left it at that I didn't want to talk about it but me and Thomas are no longer together we're almost fully divorced we have just a few things left to finalize and then um, yeah, we will be officially divorced. Um, man, I felt like I knew all the things I wanted to say, but I just, I don't know how to say, I don't know how to say this. Legally, we cannot say anything about our divorce, nor do I ever want to, besides just giving you the fact that we're, we are no longer together um I will I will share a little bit about the renovation that we recently did because I know a lot of people that confuse some people that we would still be working together if we were not husband and wife anymore but we had ripped out or gutted that room before um it was kind of right at the, about the same time but we had separated almost immediately after we had gutted that room and so um, we just thought it was in the best interest for both of us that it got completed. Um, so that was like the last project, you know, we'd ever do here. Um, Thomas is really good at all of this stuff. And it took about four months because we were, you know, just going through a lot of emotions. It's hard to work together. Um, so yeah, he... Completed that in May, um, and then we have just been, I don't know, trying to figure out our new normal, our new lives. Um, I've had a lot of people ask if either of us will be staying here. Right now I am. I don't know if I will forever. I don't know if we have to sell the house. That's still something that we're fi figuring out, um, splitting everything, you know. I, I definitely could see me leaving here soon. Um, so that's just, you know. Um, I've had a lot of, I'm just gonna answer some of the questions I've been getting a lot of. Um, a lot of questions about how are you doing? How are you really doing? Like you don't need to give us, oh, I'm good. Cause I'm not, <laughs> I'm not good. It's weird, it's, it's, I can't, unless you've been through this, I don't know, it's hard to describe, but it feels very much like a death. In a lot of ways, worse than a death. There's a lot of people, it, like this affects so many people. And not just my heart, so many, like everyone's heart that's been involved in this is broken. And I, I don't know, I never, I never wanted to be and I still don't want to be like an advocate for divorce. I don't, I don't ever want, um, I don't know, like in any way to encourage somebody to do this. And I feel like by me doing that, it's just automatically, I'm like an example of that. And I don't want that. Um, I know a lot of people have opinions on this and I always had a very strong opinion on it as well. I don't know how to even, it's so hard to talk about this without making one or the other look bad. And I'm not, I don't want to do that. So it's hard for me to even say any, anything. 
I guess the bottom line is we just no longer work together. Like we didn't, we as a couple didn't, it didn't make sense anymore. I do feel like in a lot of ways, like my entire identity, I don't even, I'm only 35, but for almost 20 years, I was this person's partner, their wife, best friend, like, I don't know, I, I feel like I just should put a lot of, or if not all of my identity with him, and so it's really hard to just, I don't know, wake up and be like, okay, what do I like to do? Almost look at myself in the mirror, like, I don't know who I am as myself, like, just, just me. So a lot of this year has been me kind of figuring that out, and in some ways it's been fun, but there's just, I don't know, it's sad every day. There's a lot of heaviness still, um, a lot of sadness, again, every day, but time, time helps. Um, a little bit you know you had somebody that was your everything and then suddenly they're they're not a part of your life at all like in any capacity I would say the hardest thing to, during all of this has just been dealing with your own heartbreak simultaneously dealing with your kids heartbreak and trying to just keep I feel like I'm trying to just keep my head above water that's it mothering them, trying to work, trying to do all of the things and just kind of set your feelings aside so that it doesn't hurt them more. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. I've never done this before and I think everyone's situation is completely different and so as much as, as much guidance you could get from someone else, it's also very, it's gonna be different than yours and so it's just uncharted territory. I don't know what I'm doing. And I just have to rely on how I feel like I need to handle situations because it's, again, every single day has been, a, has been completely different. I'm someone who thrives on routine and knowing what's going to happen next in this whole year. It's been just a nightmare. I've had a lot of questions too about how the kids are doing and they're, they're strong. Um, I don't know, I just, I've realized my focus is so much on them every day and just, um, I'm so much more aware of their feelings if one of them is even a little off and I try to talk to them and just let them express whatever they're feeling and so we can walk through that together, but that, this is the worst part of it, it's, it's not just me, it's not just Thomas, it's our kids, like all of this. Um... Not that I have any room to be giving advice because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing and I need all the advice I can get right now. I've very much been on the receiving end of so much help. Whether it just be like, give me advice or help me. Like I've had so many friends and family help me with, I don't need every day there's something that I need help with and it, it's very humbling <laughs> to say the least. But if I could give any advice right now, I don't even know if this would be advice, but it's something that I have had to learn and it's to quiet your mind because it can send you into a very bad <laughs> downward spiral. You know if you're starting to go that direction and you start to think this scenario, this scenario, it's just easy to, to find yourself in a very bad place mentally. And so every day I catch myself and have to redirect and read some books or or just try to think of other things, try to be positive. Sometimes I just change my scenery, like go on a walk and that helps. This has definitely been the hardest year of my entire life. Not even compared, like nothing has compared to this. Like we've been through a lot together. I'm not comparing this to those, the loss that we've had, but this feels like a never-ending death. I don't know how else to describe it. Like it's like every day you wake up and it's just the same pain over and over again. With all of that being said, that is the update of my life right now. It's been seven months since we went our separate ways. Our divorce is almost final. 
I am in a much better place mentally, although it doesn't seem like it right now. <laughs> but I've never talked about this ever. Um, I made a very simple post back in January on Instagram just stating the fact that we are no longer together and I left it at that and I never wanted to talk about it again. The last thing I want to say is just what I hope for. I hope that... I hope that we can both live a very fulfilled life. I only wish him happiness and I hope that for myself. And I think that if we both can be happy, then we can be better for our kids and that's really all I want. I just don't want them to hurt any more than they need to. I hope we can eventually all get along and I've seen it work for other people before. A feeling that I got during this, because I was very down one day um, about how unfair all of this is. You know, it's not fair that now my kids have half of everything or just like losing, they're losing this family unit. A feeling that came to me that I know was not of my own, so I maybe I should share this with you, is um, to shift my perspective and look at they're going to have so much more love around them and there will only be more added to them. For example, if you know there eventually is um, a bonus mom or a bonus dad or extra kids or with that comes more grandparents, more cousins, more... And, and as hard as that even is to think about, it's also, I mean, it's true that if we shift our perspective that way, that we're just kind of opening our arms, our hearts to more. So that helped. I don't know. I don't know where that came from. I don't know. But it, it did help me during that time of feeling like, I don't know, in, in a lot of ways I was feeling just robbed of, of that. So I'm sorry for basically bawling my eyes out this whole time. And I also know I sh don't need to apologize, but I can't help myself. Um, that is my life update. An update I never thought I would ever, ever have to share. Um, I feel like, again, my identity was very much, especially on this channel, it was like this family unit, or we worked together, and so I have felt very, I don't know, just, it's been hard to come on YouTube. I think I've made four videos this year, but I knew I needed to make this one, and I've been just dreading it. I don't really know what my channel will be. I don't know. I hope you guys stick around. <laughs> There's so much unknown. I don't even know if I will stay in this house. There's so much unknown. So I guess it'll just kind of be <laughs> whatever I feel like sharing that week. I hope I get back on my weekly schedule. I would like that for myself. I think it'd be good for me to have some kind of normalcy in my life again, where I can, where I have control. Um, I guess that's it. I don't know how to end this. Um, thank you guys for your support and I have felt it. I know he's felt it too. And I don't want you guys um, feeling like you need to pick sides or think anything of either of us. Peekaboo. <laughs> Peekaboo. Popsicle. Oh, you brought a popsicle. Come here. Anyway, I got a little distracted there. I don't know. Um, where my head was just now. I lost my train of thought, but thank you guys for watching and supporting me and my family um, in any way that you have. I have felt a lot of just support. I don't know how to, how to explain it, but I'm grateful. Um, I'm gonna leave it at that, and I hope that I can be back on here. <laughs> um, soon just creating normal content whatever that looks like because I don't know what that will look like from here on out but thanks guys